Hi, this is Janos, and here is a lesson for everyone. And I'm going to show you some extreme tweaks. And basically the extreme tweak is, as you see, when you have a driver, and I'm showing my uh, Cube Audio FC8 driver, uh, but this is true for any driver whatsoever, you have mounting tabs where the internal wire will hook up to. And normally what you see in every single commercial amplifier that the internal wire has a, a connector in the end, another piece of metal, hi Kintaro, he's there, and, and that piece of metal connects to this piece of metal, and this piece of metal is connecting to that wire that connects to the voice call. You see there at that point, it's, it's connected to the voice call. So it's a lot of uh, extra transitions jumping over. So what I did already the last time, how I installed the drivers, is that the internal hookup wires are going to the mounting tab directly. But the wires that hook up to the voice coil are connected to the mounting tab and then through a piece of solder to the mounting tab and that connects to the internal hookup wire. So what I did now is I bypassed that connection and took out the, the internal wires from the mounting tab and soldered them directly to the incoming wire. And now on the other side it went extremely easily. I just put my solder iron, here it is for you. Just hold it there and with my other hand tweezers grab the wire with the tweezers and when it was molten pulled it out and then with the help of the tweezer I uh, put it by the wire that, that's hooking up the internal hookup wire and then just added a little solder and psh, soldered it in and that went extremely smoothly on the other side however here on this side something unexpected happened well it wasn't unexpected but i was tugging with the tweezers on the wire uh, before the solder matted and i broke it off and then some would just despair and say oh screw it i ruined the driver <laughs> however what i did is that uh, uh, I grabbed because now the wire was too short to connect it to there and um, so so what I did is I grabbed a piece of silver this is gauge 30 silver wire I took like this this long piece folded it four times gently twisted it together and then uh, hooked it up to that shorter piece so made it a little longer and then hooked up that silver wire to the end of this internal wire. By the way, the internal wire, this is Kimber TCX, four runs on the negative and one run on the positive. And at the end of the Kimber, there is a piece of silver. So it there, there's a, a piece of silver wire hooked up to the TCX and that piece of silver is connecting there. Why? Because the, the end of the TCX, this, for example, creates a total gauge 9 and that's like thick like crazy and you cannot just solder it to a tab or, or to really skinny wires like that that's why I'm using that piece of silver as an adapter so that I can solder it to this really skinny wire by the way it's so skinny to allow cone movements if it was heavier gauge then it would not allow the cone to move freely so what's happening now is that I'm uh, basically hooking up the internal voice call connections directly to those silver pieces. And, and there's one more thing is that uh, uh, Grzegorz from Cube Audio, uh, he recommended to use a copper wire because these drivers like copper wires. So I'm experimenting a little bit with that and uh, and uh, my suspicion uh, is uh, so far I'm, I'm, uh, I'm finding good results with that. So basically my suspicion was that in many cases when people play around with silver wire, the problem is the connectors. 
and uh, so for one part when we have a silver hookup wire and you ha then you have a, a let's say a, a gold connector on it wow okay i think that that it was some thunder there uh, we're getting a storm here or something so so basically if you have like a piece of gold connecting it to your extra metal uh silver does not like any other metal as connectors especially if you have like your your binding post there and they are gold plated copper and then jump the signal jumping from that gold to silver again that's 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 something that really uh excites some negative attributes and and it's not making happy things Plus, another thing, when you use silver wires, it makes uh, problems in the system much more audible. And these drivers, they will let you hear problems in the system. So, so basically, uh, what I've been doing with my system, with my amps, is that I have been optimizing them for single drivers and for very sensitive, very uh, new not well not neutral but uh natural sounding drivers and and speakers and uh and i noticed that uh, with those gear when i'm hooking it up to the cube audio then it's reacting extremely well to the silver and it's showing the positive attributes which is that inner lit from within sound uh, those the tiny harmonic uh, beauties and, uh, and and a lot of goodies coming through that uh, with copper I, I'm not experiencing and now I'm going to the next stage so basically bypassing uh, these internal terminals so this should be a really uh, a big jump for the silver in it and uh, and my next part will be to change the internal hookup from those uh, copper or I think it's copper base and and gold plated binding post to silver tube binding post. But now I just looked around in my drawer and I do not have any more silver tubing, so I will have to order it and get some more before I can do it. So for now, I will let the break-in go with those connectors in there. But even with those connectors marking things up, uh, I've had really, really positive uh, results with throwing in a little bit of silver into the mix for the FC8. And uh, so now I will put it back and see how it sounds. And of course, I will do these for the other driver as well. So. Thank you for tuning in and just uh, checking out this <laughs> interesting little piece of extreme uh, tweaking that we are doing and uh, I will have more to say, uh, just had some amazing experiences uh, and uh, of how these wonderful drivers are breaking in and I'm saying wonderful because it, it's been uh, something quite astonishing that I experienced uh, but I'm going to make another video with it. I didn't make the video because my phone logged itself out. So I, I, it took me like an hour to uh, get it back from the hands of Apple. <laughs> okay, so thank you for tuning in. I think now I've been talking too long. Look at that. Machi fell asleep. Kintaro, he, why, why, why isn't he sharp? Anyway, he doesn't want to focus on Kintaro. Let's focus on Machi. So, please like, subscribe, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.